Hey, what's up, Noti Tribe? Welcome back to the channel again. If you're new here, my name is Just Notified, and in this playlist, I'm going over all things reselling. Today, I have an absolute banger for you. It's very highly requested of how to get ungated specifically in Lego. Now, as a reseller at any stage, I think that toys is an absolute necessary category to be ungated in for a few different reasons. Number one, of course, is great profit margins. Secondly, is supply. You can generally find a lot of toys doing retail or online arbitrage, thrifting, or even garage sales. And then last, and my very favorite, is toys generally have the lowest customer return rate. Because at the end of the day, once a customer receives an item, they go ahead and pass it off to little Johnny or Sally so they can continue binging Netflix. Now, if you follow this channel, you already know I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through step-by-step -step of my process and how I got ungated. I can't guarantee that this same process will work for you, but I have talked to several resellers in the community and they've used the exact same steps and have gotten ungated. So without any further ado, we're gonna get right into it. Now let's first take a look at the Amazon requirements for a selling application. So the most important thing is you are going to need an invoice from a manufacturer or distributor. And on that invoice, it is gonna to have to include some information. So one of them being, it does have to be dated within six months of your selling application. The next is it will have to include your name and address that matches your selling account. Also, it needs to include the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. And then lastly, you will have to show a combined purchase of at least 10 units of that item. So the last two boxes don't really make a difference, but you can omit the pricing information if you'd like to. And then Amazon just wants you to be aware that they could reach out to the vendor to verify the documentation. All right, Tribe, so what I'm about to show you is the fast and easy way to get ungated in Lego. You're gonna hear a lot that you're gonna to have to have a seller certificate and sign up with a distributor to purchase Lego items to get an invoice. And that's simply not true. So we're about to go to this top secret site that sells Lego products where you can get an invoice. It's called lego.com. So once you get onto the Lego website, you don't have to create an account. You don't have to sign up for anything. You can really just start shopping. Now this is gonna go for any brand name that you look to get ungated in. Once you get to the website, you're gonna go ahead and look for the least expensive item first. So for Lego, we're gonna to go to shop, price ranges, and then under $25. So that's gonna bring us here and your best friend when you're looking to get ungated is gonna be this sort by feature. Go ahead and click that and price low to high. Now from here, you're gonna go ahead and browse and see if Lego has any items for sale that Amazon also has a listing for. And the easiest way to do this is just copy the name of the item itself and then paste it into your Amazon seller account to see if you can find a match. And I'll show you how to do that in a second here. Now obviously Lego has a ton of items that you can look through, so feel free to browse and see if you can find something that's inexpensive that Amazon also has in their store to get ungated in. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the specific item that I purchased to get ungated in the Lego brand name. All right, so this is it. It's a Disney Frozen 2 on a keychain. It is available now. So just to show you the method, let's go ahead and see if we can find this exact item in Amazon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy the name here, go over to my Amazon teller account. To add a product here, you go to catalog, add products, and that'll take you to the search bar where you can go ahead and paste either UPC, ASIN, or product name. So we're gonna go ahead and paste it here and see what it pulls up. All right, so on this page now, you can see the fourth item listed it looks exactly like the item for sale on Lego. But this is where you really wanna make sure that everything matches up. So as we take a look at this, the title is Lego Disney Frozen 2 on a V46 minifigure keychain 853969, new with tag over six inches long. Now, if we go back to Lego, let's see if we can verify that this is the same item. A good place to look is the item description on the website. And there's a few things here that tells me that this item is a match. Number one, the actual numerical series, 853969, that matches up. Also, it does say that it's over six inches long here. And then the picture toward the right does show it new with tags. So now that we've verified all those details, you can just go ahead and add Tim to your cart, click view bag, and that's gonna take you to this page where you can select the option to check out securely or pay with PayPal. Now I selected check out securely. Now on this page, you can choose to register if you'd like to, or you can continue as a guest. I'm gonna go ahead just for this example and continue as a guest. Now for this final step, this is very important. Just make sure that all the information you provide here 
is matching the information on your seller account. It's going to ask you for your shipping address, contact information, payment information, and then after that's done, you can go ahead and confirm the payment and get the order started. All right, so now that that's done, let's talk about the timelines of what to expect after you place your order. And I'll use my order as an example. I'll place the emails on the screen here so you have a better idea of what exactly to expect here. So I placed my order and received the email confirmation from Lego on October 20th. Then once my order shipped out, I received another email from Lego and that was on October 22nd. And on that same day, they sent me a separate email that included the invoice for my purchase. And this is the invoice that I received. So you see it has my bill to and ship to name and address and this matches my Amazon seller account. On the bottom of the page, it also has Lego's address and contact information. And in the center, it has a description of the product purchased and the quantity that was ordered. Now, one of the things that I wanted to mention here is if they do send you that invoice and it may have the word receipt somewhere on the page, something going around in the reseller community is that people will either physically or digitally white out the word receipt. Now, I really can't get into if this is something that I'm for or against, but I know that you're asking. Is this something that I did for this invoice? All right, so before I get into how to submit your selling application, I did wanna let you know for Lego specifically, it took me a few different attempts for them to ungate me in this brand. I'm not exactly sure why, but the third time that I submitted my application, I was approved and I did use kind of a different method when I sent my application in. And I'll show you what that is so that you can avoid maybe some mistakes I made. So as you can see here, I sent my invoice and selling application in on October 23rd and it was denied. I then tried again on October 27th and it was also denied. So then after that, I took a couple of different steps in my selling application when I submitted it and finally they gave me the approval. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all exactly what I did when I submitted my application to get approved. Again, you're going to go into your Amazon seller account, go to catalog, add products, you type your description in the search bar to pull the item back up. Then once you're on this page, go back down to the Disney Frozen on a keychain and toward the right for you, it's going to say apply to sell here. So you're going to select the condition as new and then you would hit apply to sell here. On this page, click request approval and that's going to bring you back to this screen where you are going to select the option to submit at least one purchase invoice from a manufacturer or distributor. Here you can go down the line and check off that your selling application is dated within 180 days of the invoice. Also that it includes your name and address that matches your selling account. It includes the name and address of the manufacturer or distributor. And it also shows a combined purchase of at least 10 units. If the last two are important. You can go ahead and check those off. Now here's where you're going to drop your files in. And this is where I think I was making a mistake. So I was just sending the invoice by itself. But once I submitted it the third time and got approved, I did submit pictures of the item as well. So as best practice, I would always recommend including pictures of the product. And these are a couple examples of what that looks like. I'll generally take a picture of the front of the item that resembles the listing and then also the barcode. So once that's done, you're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where you're going to enter your email address. You can add your phone number. It's optional. But once that's done, then you go ahead and click submit and your selling application will be routed for review. All right, that's it y'all. You're finally on your way to being able to sell Lego branded items. Now, before you click off this video, I'd be remiss without touching on the fact that there are two different ways of buying items to get ungated. The method that I just walked you through is buying an item to get ungated without getting a return on that initial investment. But the other method, which I absolutely love, is purchasing an item to get ungated and making money off that item that you're getting ungated in. So if you'd like to learn how to do this, go ahead and check out this video where I show you step by step exactly how this process works. And also I am going to be starting a mini series called My Brand Ungating Journey, where I show you exactly how I've gotten ungated in brands like Marvel, Funko, Skechers, New Balance, and many more. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of that. And also leave me a comment below if there's any specific brand name that you would like to see a video on how to get ungated in. But as always, Nodi Tribe, thanks so much for stopping by the channel again, and I'll see you in the next one.